Hi everyone, in this two part video we're going to be taking a look at ways of effectively reducing noise or cleaning up audio recordings in Pro Tools or with Pro Tools in association with some other software. In this first part we'll be looking at problems including rumble, hum, static or crackle and finally broadband noise. In part two we'll be tackling a variety of other issues including clipped audio, excessive reverb in recordings and finally audio with a variety of different issues. You can see in this particular session I've got a whole multitude of things open at the moment. These are some of the plugins which I'm going to be using in this tutorial. Let me just close those for a second. And you can see on this track at the top I've got various different problematic pieces of audio. So my goal in this video is to try and tackle each of these with a variety of different tools. Um, I might just create a duplicate playlist on here actually so we can A, B between the two. Uh, Let's call this cleaned up. When you create an alternate playlist or a duplicate playlist, by the way, you can now toggle between them very easily, holding down the shift key and the up and down arrows. And if you look carefully here, you'll see if I press shift and up and down arrow, then it will switch between those playlists. So in the case of what we're doing here, that's a good way to just do an A-B comparison. Let's take a listen to the first piece of audio, which, as you can see, is labeled low rumble. Here we go. Accenture is a global professional services company and provides strategy, consulting, technology and operations services. James Hallam is MD of the Fuels Retail Practice, covering Europe, Africa and Latin America. OK, so that's pretty obvious. It's got a very considerable rumble on there. Now, I've put this one first because this is actually the easiest one to deal with. Let's just take a look. In fact, if I just show you the waveform in a little bit more detail, it's quite clear from that that there is something going on and zooming in you can see that there's some low frequency noise. So let's just try and tackle this. This is very simple because it is exclusively in the low frequency domain. We don't seem to have much problem with higher frequencies. So the simplest form of noise reduction you can apply, or the most effective tool in this case, could be just a one band EQ. And, you know, it's easy to overlook the usefulness of a plugin like this. So let's just play this and uh, see what we can do. What we probably want to do is just do a high pass filter. That's going to cut everything below a certain frequency. The default setting is going to be extremely thin. Accenture is a global professional. Far too thin. So uh, I'm just going to drop the frequency. Let's say we'll start at 100 hertz, I think. OK, and then just play this again. Accenture is a global professional services company and provides strategy consulting. Now there is still some stuff coming through and that's probably because although most of this noise I would imagine is below 100 hertz, it's the steepness of the curve. So that's adjustable here and uh, you can see that it goes up in 6 dB increments. Sometimes this is referred to as uh, the curve order. So for example, 6 decibels per octave would be a first order curve, 12 is second order, uh, 18 third order, 24 fourth order so I'm, I'm actually going to try and apply that 24 decibels per octave uh, roll off just so that it tails off a lot more quickly with regards to the frequency that you set in a high pass filter whatever you set here doesn't really set the absolute start point for the roll off this is actually the minus 3 db point so in other words at 100 hertz it's already tailed off by about 3 decibels anyway let's take a listen to this Accenture is a global professional services company and provides strategy, consulting, technology and operations services. It's reasonable. I think I might even go a bit higher. Let's take this up to, yeah, maybe there, 118 and a bit. Accenture is a global professional services company and provides strategy, consulting, technology and operations services. Try even higher. It's always a balance with this kind of thing. You know, I could, of course, go really high and filter out everything but you're going to start to eat into the dialogue quite quickly there so I wouldn't go above I don't know 150 maybe with this. Accenture is a global professional services company and provides strategy consult That's fine the only um, slight consideration with this is that if I just keep that on there it will filter it it's going to affect anything else on the track and whilst I could automate it sometimes you want the waveform to update as well. And the thing about applying any kind of plugins in real time, whether they're DSP or native, um, is that it does not affect the waveform. So what I might actually do here is copy these settings, then I'm going to apply this, but as an audio suite plugin. So I'm just going to open the exact same one here. You know, the more plugins you have, the bigger this list is going to be, and it just gets 
crazy after a while. So sometimes you might want to filter them by manufacturer. It's easy to find stuff. There's the one band EQ. I've copied those settings so I could click here and then paste the settings. I mean, they were very simple anyway, but you can imagine on a more complex plugin, that's a very useful feature. Now preview this just to make sure. Accenture is Sounds a fine. And now when I render it, company, the waveform will update, which is a, an easy visual indication of what we've done. Let's just AB between the two. So I'm going to use the shift and up arrow shortcuts, switch playlists. Here's what we had. Accenture is a global professional services company and provides strategy consulting. Ah, need to get rid of this to truly hear it. So let's drop that plugin because that's still filtering it. Now let's hear it. Accenture is a global professional services company and provides strategy consulting, technology and operations services. And then the cleaned up version. Accenture is a global professional services company and provides strategy consulting, technology and operations services. Okay, that was quite effective. Now we're going to move on to reducing hum. And in this case, we've got this file which is labelled horrendous hum because lo and behold, it's got a horrendous hum in it. Here it is. 99% of our work is Volkswagen because that's where the big market is. Um, but we do. We... In this case, a simple high pass filter won't really cut it because, as well as that low frequency, we've also got harmonics and so multiples of the fundamental frequency. And one plugin which I like to use for this kind of stuff is from Mac DSP, and it's called the NF575 Noise Filter. And this allows you to apply a series of very narrow notches, narrower than you can in most normal EQs, in order to filter out things such as this. So this piece of audio was recorded in the UK and uh, I would hazard a guess that the fundamental frequency is probably 50 hertz. So the way that I like to use this plugin is I'll use one of the bands, let's uh, use this one, and I'll reduce the range to the minimum which is 40 dB cut. Now with the band soloed we're only going to hear what will be taken out. Let's just take a listen. And what you really want to do is sweep the frequency until you hear the hum, the loudest. Wow, okay, that's quite prominent. I would recommend watching this video, by the way, either through headphones or decent quality monitors because um, there's some low frequencies that we're gonna be dealing with here. So 50 hertz, that's no surprise because this audio was recorded uh, here in the UK where the mains frequency is 50 hertz. We can also reduce the bandwidth or the Q to the minimum because we don't want to affect any surrounding frequencies or necessarily. Let's just compare between having the active and not active. So turn it off first. 99% of our work is Volkswagen. Now with that first cut applied. 99% of our work is Volkswagen. Okay, so that's reduced that very lowest frequency. What we now need to do is move on to the harmonics. And quite often, they will be direct multiples of the fundamentals. So let's just see if that's the case. I'm gonna go on to the next band, do the maximum amount of cut, and then sweep around around 100 hertz. Yeah. So you see as I'm going through 100 hertz there, it sounds the worst. Let's reduce the bandwidth, okay, and take a listen to that. So what you're hearing there is what we're going to take out. Now let's compare this, so see what we've got. 99% of our work is Volkswagen because that's where the big market is. Let's get in there. Next frequency, I'm just going to guess here that it's probably 150 hertz for the sake of speed in the video. We'll cut that. 99% of our work is Volkswagen because that's where the big market is. Now there's a little bit of something higher up. Perhaps it's 200. 99% of our work is Volkswagen because that's where the big market is. It's a little bit harder to tell here, but let's just try it and reduce this to the maximum or the minimum, depending on which way you want to look at it and play that. 99% of our work is Volkswagen because that's where the big market is. Um, can compare that with without the plugin. 99% of our work is Volkswagen because that's where the big market is. There is one slightly weird thing with this plugin which always seems to happen which is when you first play it it takes a fraction of a second before it to actually kick in. Take a listen when I run this you'll hear the noise and then it'll rapidly tail off. 99 Hear that? There's like a, a low frequency kind of thing going on. 99 I'm going to do the same trick here. Copy the settings, open the audio suite version of it, and apply it there. Once again, let's have a look at this by manufacturer, just because it's, it's a lot easier to find it. 
NF575, paste the settings here. There we go, now I can render it. Okay, a notable difference in the waveform. Let's just keep this open in case I need to change anything, just make it inactive for now. Here we go, so the noisy version. 99% of our work is Volkswagen because that's where the big market is. Um, and then the new version. 99% of our work. Once again, there's that strange thing at the beginning. 99%. In this case, it doesn't actually matter because I could just do something like that. Now you can see that there is actually still some stuff going on there, a little bit. 99% of our work is Volkswagen because that's where the big market is. But it's a lot better. Sometimes you can apply it twice, actually. You know, if you're running it in real time, um, these give you only 40 dB of reduction, which is quite a lot, but you can actually apply two of them and then that effectively gives you twice the gain reduction on any given band. Anyway, we've applied audio suite processing and it's, it's reasonable. So now let's move on to reducing static. And here we've got a clip, which uh, I've had to mock this one up because I didn't really have anything with sufficiently bad static, but this is how it sounds. I think it's a real, it's a real mix. And we have certain countries like Norway where I think it was last year, 22% of all new vehicles were electric. Now you're unlikely to find that kind of thing on a modern recording, not to that extent anyway, but if you were ever remastering vinyl or remastering some vintage recordings, then you may find that static can be quite a problem. Let's take a look at a plugin for this. And this time I'm gonna use one from Sonox, which is the Sonox D-Clicker. Now, without going into too much detail about all of the settings on this, basically it breaks the noise down into three categories, pop, click, and crackle. Sounds like a breakfast cereal. But in essence, pop is the slightly longer duration kind of artifact. Clicks are shorter and the crackle is very short and generally rapidly repeated. I don't think we're gonna have any problem with pop. Let's just try the default settings to begin with. I suspect it's gonna to start to adversely affect the audio because of this. I might need to turn that band off. We'll take a listen. I think it's a real it's a real mix and we have certain countries like Norway where I think it was last year 22% of all new vehicles were electric. Yeah, something weird's going on. So what you can do with this is you can listen to only the audio that you're actually taking out. So at the moment I'm listening to the original, listen to diff and that's the difference. So what you want to try and do here is not hear any dialogue or minimal minimal dialogue and I can hear some and I suspect it's this turn that off okay that's helped let's just see how that sounds the question is really how fast will it increase I think it's a real it's, it's reasonable real mix. but not good enough so let's go back here and uh, I'm gonna change the threshold a little bit see if I bring it all the way down that starts to really eat into the dialogue reality it will increase the question is really so it's a question of balance here maybe that and I could increase the sensitivity a little bit let's try that so for me electrification is a reality it will increase the question is really how Okay, now let's try changing a few settings in the D-click section. So I'm just going to run it once again. I think it's a real, it's a real. Let's see what I can get away with with this. Let's pull it all the way down. Of course, you can hear dialogue there. So take it up a bit. Maybe that. I think it's a real, it's a real mix, and we have certain countries like Norway where. I think it was last year, 22% of all new vehicles were electric. But then there are certainly other countries where that's you know, a much, much smaller percentage. So for me, electrification is a reality. It will increase. The question is really how... Okay, it's not perfect, but just for speed in this video, let's say that it's good enough for now. I'll render it. You know, if you had plenty of time, of course, you could spend ages getting that uh, perfect. Let's just do a quick comparison between those two once again. I think it's a real, it's a real mix, and we have certain countries like Norway, and the where, up version. I think it was last year, 22% of all new vehicles were electric, but then there are certainly other countries where that's, you know, a much, much smaller percentage. So, for me, electrification is a reality. That's not a bad result, given how severe it was. Now we'll move on to broadband noise reduction. 
So broadband noise is noise which occupies a wide frequency range, such as the sound of a computer fan or an air conditioning unit. Let's take a listen to an example of something like that here. I like its performance. Uh, it's quick and it's comfortable. I like the autopilot because when the traffic's really congested, you can you still have to concentrate, but you can concentrate slightly less. Okay, this was recorded outside, and the background noise in this case is the sound of a road that's not too far away from where the interview is taking place. And there are there's probably another issue in here, really. There's also a low-frequency sound that we could probably do with just removing. So before I even start to look at the actual broadband noise reduction, I might as well just apply, apply a high-pass filter, maybe at 100 hertz, because there's no point in that even being there. I'll just get rid of that. So that's stage one. Already quite a change in the waveform. But now let's move on to the reduction of the noise itself. And there are many tools which you could use for doing this. And sometimes, you know, one might be better than the other. Another time, it might be a different one that's preferable. So you've really got to kind of try whichever tools you have at your disposal. In this case, I'm going to try the Isotope RX7 Voice Denoise. Now this is available in the full version of RX and it's also available as an audio suite plugin here in Pro Tools. And um, if you're up against the clock with a deadline and you have quite a lot of problematic audio to deal with, quite often adaptive mode actually gives you a very good result. That's basically an automatic mode. Let's just see how this sounds straight off. I like its performance. Uh, it's quick and it's comfortable. I like the autopilot because when the traffic's really congested, you can and bypass you it. still have to concentrate, but you can concentrate slightly less as it takes over some of the driving. That's not too bad. If you want to go in and do it manually, then what you need to do is find a section of noise on its own with no dialogue in it. So it's either going to be there or there. Let's just see which one might be best. Over some of the driving. Um, I like the fact that one's got a breath in it. Um, so I'm probably going to use this. Minus that little lip smack at the end. Or possibly that that will do it at the end there. Okay, so now I need to turn off adaptive mode, click on learn, and because we're doing this as an audio suite plugin rather than something in real time, I'm just gonna click on this little preview button. And now you can see that's created what you call a noise profile. So that's the overall contour of what this plugin considers the noise to be. Now that it knows that, I can listen to the whole file and hopefully the noise reduction is reasonably effective. We probably will need to change the threshold and the reduction. You don't really want to eradicate the noise 100% because on something like this, you know, this interview would be, in this case, seen on camera and you can see that he's outside. So it would be very strange in the actual video where this audio came from for him to be talking in complete sonic isolation. You want to keep some semblance of the background sound in there because it helps to put him in that location. But nevertheless, we want to reduce it. So it's about reduction rather than complete eradication. So let's preview this. I like its performance. Uh, it's quick and it's comfortable. I like the auto. If I try and do this, when the traffic's really congested, you can you still have to concentrate, but you can concentrate slightly less. See, that's uh, really affecting the dialogue now. Let's try and um, do I don't know, ten or eleven dB of gain reduction. I like its performance. Uh, it's quick and it's comfortable. I like the autopilot because when the traffic's really congested, you can you still have to concentrate, but you can concentrate slightly less as it takes over some of the driving. Um, I like the fact that it, uh, it is... Okay, that's not bad. I'm doing these quite quickly and you know sometimes you do have to do that so although it would be nice to always go in and tweak the settings and get it perfect and spend ages messing around with it, the reality is with you know a lot of jobs you simply don't have the time to do that so sometimes it's a balance between time and deadlines. Um, let's just do a quick A-B comparison between these. So once again, I'm using the shift and up and down arrow shortcuts here to toggle between the playlists. So let's start this running. Here's a noisy version. I like its performance. Uh, it's quick and it's comfortable. And it's cleaned I like up. the autopilot because when the traffic's really congested... Back can, to the noisy you one. You still have to concentrate, but you can concentrate slightly less as it takes over some of the driving. And the cleaned up. Um, I like the fact that it... Uh, it isn't missing any carbon dioxide and this isn't costing me anything for fuel. There are some artifacts in there, but nevertheless, it's a reasonable result. That's it for part one. In the next video, we'll be looking at ways to effectively reduce clipping, excessive reverb, and we'll also be tackling an old recording from cassette, which has a variety of noise issues. I'll see you there.